Hi everybody, thank you for tuning in. Um, so this is just a video I'm going to show you guys about how I did this look right here. And I'm also going to touch on two products that I was given um, complimentary of Influencer. Um, the first product being the Hourglass, right here, this is the Hourglass Veil Translucent Setting Powder. And then the other product that was given a try out was the Hourglass. Um, this is the Veil, um, it's just the powder brush double-sided, so under the eyes, all over the face. I can say right off the back, this brush is a win for me. Um, it's just so soft and it um, just glided across my face very, very nicely and I, I just loved it. So this is an awesome product. Um, but the powder right here, um, I actually want to get into this because when I first opened it up and I got it in the mail, I was kind of like, oh great, it's an hourglass product. I'm so excited to try. But then when I took a look at the powder, I was just a bit hesitant because it is super light. Um, I was like, oh man, I'm not too sure how this is going to go down. Previous products that I've used in the past that were a bit light, um, that flashback just wasn't really nice looking. I was just kind of like, eh. But I went to work yesterday and decided to give this product a try. And I was worried about nothing. Uh, I took the brush and I began to apply underneath my eyes and I was like oh this is kind of ashy looking but then the more I blend it the more it just kind of melted into my skin I don't know if you guys get it but it's kind of like the powder just disappeared so I was like wow this is great and so I actually took this side of brush and um, after I was done doing everything I just wanted to set all my makeup um, I dabbed a little bit dusted off whatever and just went over my face a bit and it just melted into my face. Um, the product is made without talc. Talc, right? Talc. Talc. It's awesome. So I didn't leave any flashback behind. I didn't leave anything making me look ghastly or ghostly, whatever the case may be. It looked fine. It looked great throughout the entire day. It was an awesome product. Um, it also, when you apply it, it creates a bit of an airbrush effect where it kind of hides any fine lines you might have or any pores or wrinkles that's going on. Um, not anything that's like deep or super large pores. I mean, if you're dealing with something that's like moderately small, you should be fine. Uh, but the pores that I do have just around here in my T-zone, um, yeah, I, they were barely noticeable after I applied this. So um, yeah, I mean, honestly, I'll give this five stars. It's an awesome product. Um, I still love my Laura Mercier powder, but I probably will bounce between the two because I don't want to use up any one of them too fast. So I'm just going to um, yeah, just bounce between them. I, I honestly do love this and I probably would be purchased this. Um, but you know, I don't want to abandon Laura Mercier. And, and you know, I think I might just buy them both, to be honest with you, <laughs> once they run out. But I would definitely be purchased this. Um, I'm not mad at it at all. Um, yeah, so never judge a book by its cover and definitely give it a try if you're in Sephora one day and you're just like, oh, let me see how it goes. You know, swatch it in the back of your hand, rub it in, see what happens. It, you know, it doesn't leave a crazy looking flashback for you or leaves you looking ashy. It, it blends right in as you can see. It look amazing. So thank you Hourglass for this amazing product. Anywho, um, one more thing about this powder that I was reading about um, when I was looking it up online because I just want to get like a more of a better you know feel for it. Um, it says it's an ultra refined powder formulated with light reflecting particles to blur imperfections packaged in an innovative sifter design dispense to perfect amount to dispense the perfect amount of product. Um, it's also um, let me see yeah the formula is infused with the diamond powder for the most refined light refraction without any flashback and sets makeup for longer wear. And I can say that when I came home from work yesterday, it, I mean, you couldn't tell that um, I've been slaving away at work. My makeup, um, yeah, it was still as, as great as it was when I left at the house. That's, that's awesome. Yeah, and so keep watching. I'm going to show you how I got this look right here. And thank you so much for tuning in. Thanks, guys.